Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's weekly production diary series. You know, for a long time I've been wanting to uh, give you some sort of a behind the scenes thing, not just the stuff that actually makes the video, but let you know what it's like to work in a mandolin workshop day in and day out all the time. So this week, whenever I do a little job, I just wrote myself a note saying this is what you've done and I'm going to share that with you right now. Uh, Monday this week started out with uh, Monday is garbage day around here so I gathered all the garbage from the house and the shop and everything made sure I got it down to the road before the garbage guys run. Uh, mandolin number four in our batch uh, was ready to ship so I packed it up and everything and I got the shipping labels created and uh, everything's sitting th right there beside the front door waiting for the shipper to come and pick it up and then off to the bank in the post office real quick before I could even start working on mandolins. So when I got back from the bank in the post office, I started work on uh, the mandocello, the binding on the back of the mandolin shaped mandocello, the K4. Um, we can only glue a piece and then just walk off and do something else and let that dry and come back and do another piece. Usually two pieces a day is about all you can get. So after I got the first piece glued on the mandocello, I come in here and worked on a Kentucky uh, mandolin for a friend. I think we put a new nut in it, so that took a while. And then I put frets in mandolin number six because it's the next one in line to have finish put on it. I put those frets in and then started the finish prep and everything. And uh, after a little while, my students showed up at five o'clock. I teach uh, mandolin students here on Monday evenings. And then after all that was said and done, for those of you who are regular watchers, know that last week's episode posted late because I hadn't had time to get it ready, edited and everything, and, and posted on my normal Saturday. Didn't get it Sunday, so after my students left on Monday, I went and finished all that out and posted my video uh, late Monday. That was from morning till night, and what a busy day Monday was. And now, Tuesday starts off with the biggest disaster you've ever seen. Well, it really wasn't the biggest disaster you've ever seen, but it was bad enough. Right back through that door right there is a uh, junk room, storage area, that sort of thing. And I had a set of shelves that were, oh, about yay tall. Uh, sort of heavy-duty plastic with wheels on the bottom of them and the shelves were packed full and uh, at some point during the night I guess just one of those wheels decided to give it up and broke the whole thing tilted and one thing led to another apparently and the shelves every one of those shelves and their brackets broke off as it come down and by the time it was all said and done I had a debris field spread all out through the floor in that room and it took me an hour and a half to get it cleaned up before I could actually come in here and start to work on mandolins. And the first thing I did that day on Tuesday was to, uh, of course, wrap another piece of binding on the black mandocello. And then I went to work on, again, number six, started doing the prep work and everything. At some point in the middle of that, I had to stop and order some pickups from... Uh, the West Coast, because I've got some mandolins being ordered that uh, that people have asked to have those uh, K and K internal twin pickups put in, and so that's what I put in on most all of those mandolins. Had to get in touch with those folks and get those pickups ordered, uh, and then I got the number six uh, sanded enough to wet it down and raise the grain while it was drying. I worked on the peg heads for the other mandolins in the batch, and then. I got to finish the uh, sanding on number six, put just the prettiest chocolate brown solid stain all over it and got the first tack coat shot on, hung it up there to dry. About that time, uh, the customer for mandolin number five, if you'll remember the leopard wood one with the uh, uh, blonde top and the real pretty uh, engraved tailpiece, he uh, lives close enough that he came by to pick the mandolin up. We had an all too short visit uh, while he was here before my uh, Tuesday evening uh, jam session guys showed up, started showing up, and uh, then we played music until 
I don't remember how late, but it was enough to fill up my Tuesday. So that was Tuesday. On Wednesday, I managed to get three pieces of binding on the mandocello. Only one piece was left. I put some uh, frets in mandolin number seven in the batch. But the big thing was I got the binding scraped off of mandolin number six and cleaned up. Uh, the uh, logo applied to the headstock. And I got three coats of build uh, lacquer shot on that. Let me show you mandolin number six right now. So here it is, mandolin number six. Like I said, by the end of Wednesday, I had everything all cleaned off, the logo applied, and three bill coats shot on top of it. And so when Thursday come, I sat down with uh, some really fine sandpaper and just went over the entire thing, cleaned it up, sanded it flat, and made it nice and level and pretty, and shot uh, the satin coat uh, to finish it up with. So we are done with this. It's going to hang here and cure for a while and then we're going to put the hardware and the strings on it. It's done. But another thing that happened on Thursday was a friend of mine uh, brought by a, uh, a Sunburst Martin cutaway of a, I don't remember what the number was, but something I had never seen in before. But anyway, it needed a truss rod adjustment. So we uh, sat down and monkeyed with it for about an hour before we finally got it right. And then uh, also on Thursday, I got the last of the binding on the uh, Mandicello, which I'll show you here in just a second. And uh, so now it is Friday morning. And I think uh, we're probably going to spend the rest of the day cleaning up the binding on the Mandicello and sanding it down and everything. And then if we have any time left at all, we're going to... Uh, finish putting the frets in these things right here. There's number seven that I told you earlier I got the the frets in. So let me show you the, the Mandicello here. So here we go. As you can see all of the binding is on. Nice three ply binding. And I'll probably spend the rest of the day with this thing. Uh, taking it down to 100, and 100 grit paper probably and making it all slick and shiny and even all over in preparation for doing the peg head and, and at some point uh, putting the fretboard on and maybe we'll get to that next week and maybe we won't. just depends on what wanders through the door here at Ratliff Mandolins and we certainly hope that you will come back and join us next week for the uh, next edition of the Ratliff Mandolin's Weekly Production Diary. And hopefully we'll see you then. Visit with us. Bye.